Hello. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you're really quiet now for me, too. Okay. Is that better? Hopefully that's better. I'm seeing my own input now, so, okay. Sorry if you couldn't hear me. We were just recapping where we left off last week, um, that we had uh, pretty well explored Brittle Hollow and Giant Steep, and I guess I don't really know where we should go next, per <gasps> se. Um, yeah. We can go look at the board on the ship log and see if there's like an... A natural way to get things going. Uh, okay, let's see. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, what do those say? The ocean is surprisingly calm beneath the current. Some sort of electrical field surrounds the planet's core. Okay. A new, more sensitive locator, the Nomai built in this observatory, was an unable to detect any trace of the eye's signal. Based on their knowledge of the quantum moon, the Nomai believed the eye was in a distant orbit around the sun. Nomai decided to stop searching for the eye's signal and instead look for it visually by sending out a deep space probe. There were concerns that the probability of launching a probe in the correct direction would be absurdly small. Okay. Most cyclones on Giant Steep rotate clockwise. They're, these are the cyclones the Nomai use to send components into orbit. There also exists a rare type of cyclone that spins the opposite direction and pushes objects beneath the waters and below the current. Okay. So... Um, the launch module. Hmm. So, I mean, we can go to one of the Ash Twins. We could go try to find the Quantum Moon. Right. Or we could go to... Dark Bramble. Um, let's do the first one. So, Ash Twins. The central chamber inside Ash Twin was physically sealed off by an immensely thick protective shell. Every memory recorded by a Nomai statue is transmitted to a corresponding storage unit within Ash Twin. And the Nomai mined ores from this site to craft a protective shell designed to physically seal off the central chamber inside Ash Twin. Once the, cell, the shell was finished, the Nomai checked to ensure there were no longer any physical entrances or cracks. Hmm. Okay. Maybe not. <laughs> um. Maybe let's go to the new planet. 
to Dark Bramble? Yeah. Oh boy, okay. I'm a little spooked by that one. Alright. We gotta go sometime though. And... Brambo or the Hourglass Twins. Alright, that's the Twins there. I think that's the Quantum Moon, actually. Oh my god, go get it! Can we just land on it? on accident. I just don't know what to expect from this. I know. doesn't even look like it's getting more defined and mm. just we went right through it i bet we have to like wait what yeah we literally just like went through it look now it's we, really... we have to get to it from the gravity cannon maybe so Hmm. How interesting. Okay. Well, isn't it dark purple there? Yep. Also, what is this little guy? What is, what is that? The interloper. What is that? Do we know what that is? I don't... I don't know. I keep seeing it. I want to just get a little closer to it to see. Yes, hello, what are you? So fast. What the heck? Is it just gonna go straight into the sun? Mm. Mm. Surely not. Okay, well now it's behind the sun, so it's gonna take us the autopilot's gonna take us into the sun. I just wanna know what it is. Is it like just a little satellite? I don't know. Ooh. 
It doesn't have any gravity. Hmm. Is there anything on it? Hello. I don't know what to make of this. What is what? I don't either. I think it does have slight gravity. Oh wait, 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 wait! What was that? No, I mean I don't think it's just a flavor thing. Hello. Where's this? Okay. All right, we'll we'll check it out really quick seems like this is all there is to it, so... This is troublesome. It seems the comet wishes to submerge our shuttle in ice. If we stay on the surface too long, the shuttle may freeze entirely. Uh, okay. Even if it did, couldn't someone call it back home to the gravity cannon on Ember Twin? Yes, but the exploration of the comet would be more difficult if we were without the shuttle until someone recalled it. Perhaps we shouldn't have landed on the dark side of the comet. Suppose one of us remained in the shuttle to keep it warm and continue monitoring, monitoring the surface. This would be wise, I think, Clary. If you don't mind waiting here with it, Poke and I can continue to investigate the surface. So... Is there a ship? It's, yeah, it's a shuttle. But... Huh. A random comet? Hmm. Well, we've been there, I guess. We've seen it. Don't really know what to make of it. <laughs> but... Yeah. It's here. Interesting. Um, that was weird. What are we? What is happening right now? What? What am I looking at? What the fuck is happening? Whoa. Is this another? What the frick is this? Um, I... It's trippy as hell. It won't let you go into it. Right, it's like, oh. It's like, are we suddenly in the black hole? Because that looks like White Hole Station. It, like, this feels like we got sucked into the black hole on... Yeah. Brutal Hollow. I'm so, ha, what? <laughs> I'm so confused. Has this always been out here? I don't. I don't know. Black hole is a warp, not in space itself. I'm. I mean, I know. I'm just saying this is what it looked like when we went through it, and like, what is that? 
then? I... I'm just so... What the hell? I don't know what to make of any of that. So when you went through it, you weren't in the black hole. It brought you here. Uh... When we went through what? When we went through the black hole, it's it's not like the black hole is like... It's like a warp gate, basically. We didn't go through a black hole. Like previous, like when we were on Brittle Hollow and we went through the black hole, it brought oh, us to this oh, space. Oh, I see, I see, I see. But I'm just. Why are we back in this space? I don't. I mean, I th I think we're just out in normal space. We've just never oh. noticed that before. That you can just like go back to like White Hole State. That's sorry. White Hole Station. I. <laughs> oh gosh okay where exactly right you can fly to it at any point right yeah yeah it's always been out there i yeah i just how i don't know how i missed it it's kind of crazy um okay well i feel like we should meditate because we've just been okay. bopping around. Uh, yeah. And then we'll fly to Dark Bramble. Because I got out here and got distracted. doesn't look like a planet it looks like it's a planet that like exploded that one Hello. I have no idea what to expect from this one because so far the planets have been very, very different from everything I expected. And I certainly did not expect the last one to be being actively disintegrated by a black hole. So can we fly into the center of that? I don't like the sound of that, but... I guess that's what we're gonna do. I'm wondering if this is gonna be... Ooh. Oh god... What? I'm also really worried about that anglerfish. Oh my god, Lauren, we are inside that... I thing. don't like it at all. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like any part of this. This is absolutely horrifying. This is rather scary. I don't like the concept that something can just like come out out of nowhere. Also, where the hell are you supposed to like land in here? I guess I'm gonna go for this red light because it's the only thing different. 
Oh my god. <gasps> no. Uh, let it murder you. I want to see what happens. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Laura, <laughs> I don't want to get in here. <laughs> I don't like it in here at all. Are all the white lights anglerfish? <laughs> oh, <wait. No! laughs> oh my god! Oh Go my inside god. of it! What? What's gonna happen? Oh my god! 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 Leave me alone! Leave me alone! Oh my god, I... Low visibility, ominous music, deadly fauna, what's not to like? Oh, this is awful. Goodbye! Oh god, our ship is fucked. Definitely gonna eat us. Oh my god. Signal scope. <laughs> okay. Well, that was awful. Yeah. What do we even do? What do we even do there? <laughs> Where do we go? Maybe we need to land somewhere on the surface to start. Before I go into the spooky hole. Uh, otherwise, I don't know. I don't know what to do with that. <laughs> that was awful. It was I, horrible. That felt like playing Subnautica for the first time again. <laughs> Yeah, I have that same, like, sense of, like, <laughs> dread. That's the first time I played Sonanaka. First time I found that, it was at 10 p.m. and I had the lights out. I jumped so high. <laughs> and yeah, that was... Ugh. Hated that. Okay, we don't want to fly into the sun today, actually. Autopilot. I appreciate the suggestion, but... I threw my scout at the light near me. Was a nice experience that kept me out of there for a while. <laughs> yeah. I remember seeing an anglerfish, like, sort of figure whenever we shot the scout into the seed on timber hearth but i didn't want them to really be in there okay can we land somewhere out of that hell hole and see like if there's anything interesting out on the surface at all I don't really this see. It's a truly anything. wild planet. Yeah, like what happened or is happening here? Of course, his freaking harmonica is coming from in there. Okay. <laughs> God, it's really hard to... Yeah. Mm. 
-hmm. Into the red. What could go wrong? Trying to just kind of snooch around the outside. Yeah. A little, as best I can. So it's that light. Shit. <laughs> Wee. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Is there are they all anglerfish? Uh well that one's the brightest, so I'm gonna go straight to it. Can we send the thing in there? Um. Probably, but it's going to be hard to like... If I could get out and do it a lot more accurately with my suit, but I don't want to do that. <laughs> Did you see that? No, wait, what? ship can't go in there we might be able to go in there did we do that let's do it okay. yeah yes i'm gonna i'm gonna do it I we've do got it. to do it we've got to try i don't i mean i don't know that we can get in there but we can try No. Then what do we do? in there. Mm. What the heck? Huh. Well, I don't know. Wait. Did you see that? 
Hold on. When I launched the scout into here... Look, it's like over there too. Uh... Do you see that? Does it... Mm -hmm. It says duplicate it's signal. Hold on. That's... We're gonna go over. In here? Yes. I mean... Yeah. Is he here? Feldspar uh, here? Oh my god. In the skull of an anglerfish? How horrible. I mean, I hate it too. It's pretty freaking awful. I guess I can just... Is the ship going anywhere really? Is she rolling? Just sort of... Hold on. I'd love to, like, land. Down here, please. <laughs> no. Okay, fine. Mm -hmm. Fine. Fine. <laughs> um... Hello, Mike. No, no! Oh my god. You're alive! That's really weird, cause... Wait, 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 why did I just get sucked that way all of a sudden? I don't like it. Did you? Oh. Okay, I'm gonna stay in this little... My friends! Whoa! Whoa indeed! Where'd you come from? No one's coming here in... well ever, actually. That makes you the second Harthian to ever reach Dark Bramble. After me, of course. Well done. Say it's you! They made you an astronaut and you haven't blown yourself up yet? Good for you! Um, you're alive? Hello? You never were the brightest hatchling, were you? Yeah, that's right, I'm alive. Been camping out here since my ship, uh, you know, crashed violently. You crashed? I haven't lived in polite society for a while, so I'm just going to go ahead and assume that wasn't sarcasm. My story goes like this. I just finished exploring the core of Giant's Deep, and I wanted to try my hand at Dark Bramble, seeing as no one had ever been before. Getting around in Dark Bramble was easy, mind you. Once you've dodged one massive interdimensional vine bristling with thorns, you've dodged them all. But after a while, I ran into this huge anglerfish. You've seen him big gnarly things and this was the biggest one i've ever seen i pull a few stunts try to shake the thing off nothing too fancy i'm going full speed when the fish clips me knocks me into a vine and well like i said i crash blammo on impact my ship starts making noises like it's coming apart from the inside and i think well that ain't great sure enough i barely get out of there before the electrical system starts sparking like crazy it's either move fast or die unpleasantly, so I had to put a little distance between me and my poor fried ship. I camped out near where I crashed at first. I found this skeleton later. Great find. Would have been stupid not to use it. So, I moved my setup over here and planted my emergency tree seeds. Been here ever since. Wow. Uh... Yeah, pretty much. 
anyway, that's how it all went down, Hatchling. Story's over, but feel free to stay and enjoy the fire a while. Or don't. Fire's not going anywhere. Ugh. I found a dark bramble seed on Timber Hearth. That's bad business, Hatchling. As Chert will tell you, if you so much as glance in Dark Bramble's direction, there used to be a fifth planet where the Bramble is now. Oh no. This infernal plant appeared at the center and kept growing and growing and growing until it shattered the planet and scattered its pieces across space. Oh, okay. Uh-oh. If we don't get that seed you found sorted real quick like, I suspect Timber Hearth will be heading toward the same fate. And I tell you what, we Hearthians have overcome far too much to be done in by some worthless seed. Um, okay. Yeah. I found something? That's where, what we just did. Where should I explore here? That's the spirit. Anywhere is good, but you should know that space is weird here. Intensely. Ever tried throwing your scout into one of these weird seeds? See there with the little opening? It's just big enough to launch one through. Your scout tracker will tell you the scout is in two places at once, but I don't think that's wrong exactly because space doesn't work right in here. That seed looks small, see, but inside it's bigger. Much bigger. I've had a lot of time to think about this and my theory is space in Dark Bramble kind of expands as you go through each sphere. That's why it's bigger inside those seeds. Well that's my theory. Keep that in mind while you're exploring Dark Bramble and maybe you won't get lost inside forever. I mean, I already feel like I'm very lost inside and don't yeah. know how to get out of here. <laughs> yeah. Good luck. <laughs> um, you reached the core of Giant Steep. How'd you do it? Giant Steep's core, huh? Ah, that was a wild one. But since you're asking, I gotta assume you haven't made it down there yourself yet, right? And if I tell you how, it kind of feels like cheating. Uh, what? Well, I... Hmm. What? Bro. <laughs> On a completely unrelated note, that sure was a big hollow vine my ship crashed into. Yep. If I were you, I'd go take a walk and see where it ends. What? A big hollow vine. Okay. So you need to find where his ship crashed. You'll want to go to the tail end of this anglerfish skeleton here and look for a flickering light in the fog. That'll be my old ship. Path starts there. Okay. Oh, the skeleton? It was like this when I got here. As near as I can tell, this anglerfish must have been chewing on the vine and eaten a seed, and then the seed grew and grew in the poor fish's stomach until this happened. Gross, huh? This skeleton was a good find. Keep the fish away. See, they're territorial, so they mostly avoid each other. That's why I set up camp here. So I shouldn't... Yeah, do you want to just stay here forever? Well, yeah, yeah, sure, whenever you have the time. <laughs> Frankly, I kind of like it out here. Quiet. Peacefulish. You're a little too young to understand, but it's a lot of pressure being the best that ever was. Been nice to have a break. I mean, you could just come with us. Yeah. Couldn't? Couldn't? Huh. Uh, I mean, I see the flickering light. Do we want to take our ship there? Probably. Uh, yeah, probably. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> the way the ship is parked right now is... It's a little goofy. A little goofy goof. I can't... I honestly can't believe we found him. I thought that was going to take way longer. That did take me way longer. Well, that makes me feel a little better. Well, this isn't you as far away as I thought. Bright idea with the double signal thing.
Ugh, I hate it in here. Okay. Okay. This can only go super well. So I think this way was just blocked off, right? Yes. Okay. Doing great. Thank you. I'm trying my best. Mm -hmm. Goodness, is it like sucking you in? Um, there's just not gravity in here, I think. And since my like momentum is this direction, we're kind of just snooching. On oh. Uh. Wait, 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 wait. Where the fuck are where the what I think we just went to try and steep. It seemed to be what they were getting at. Don't go back. No, I'm not I'm not I just wanted to look behind me. <laughs> it like pulls you back that so sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are we even in here? Or is this like the center center of giant steep? Oh shit. No. Uh, no. Trip four, entry, and I'm not gonna say one. Crash is three. Boring crashes, zero. Personal best. Whoa, -ho! never thought I'd see one of these be beasties outside of Giant Steep. They were awfully useful back there. Maybe a jellyfish could be useful here too. How are they useful? Ugh, it tastes terrible. The outside is all rubbery and tough. Maybe that's because it insulates the jellyfish's insides from getting zapped by electricity. Oh. Right, I'm going inside of this jellyfish's interior cavity to see if what's in there tastes any better. So we have to use their... something with their body to, like... get under the surface of giant steep of that electrical field? Um... How do we do that? They just zap us. Didn't we kind of have that thought before? Because it's all electric y, electrified. Whoa. Note to Feldspar Do not eat this, even if you are dying. It would be too sad if this were the last thing you ever ate in this life. <laughs> I guess these jelly jellyfish are only useful for insulation from electricity. Again, do not eat. Love, Feldspar. So we need to, like, get up inside one. Huh. Interesting. But how do we do that and not get got? I don't know. Hmm. Oh, well, was there anything else? I, where are, where are we? I don't know. <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> I don't even know what planet we're on anymore. I... Like, the brambles make me think that we're still, like, on dark bramble somewhere. But there's ice, like in Brittle Hollow, but there's jellyfish. Like on Giant's Deep. Yeah. Yeah. The scout signal is, yeah, like... <sighs> 28,000... No, Away. 
Hmm. Maybe we could talk to Felspar about it. Ooh, no, 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 no. Hold on. Hold on. Does your map show anything? Can I pull up an actual oh, uh, tab? I don't think I've ever actually... It says we're on Dark Bramble. But, yeah, like, like Kendall said, the scout is super far away. Huh. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what to make of that. We. Oui. We're almost out of oxygen. Yeah. Ships back here. Wee. <laughs> Please. Okay. Um, okay. I. <laughs> I yep. don't super... What, what does this say? Let's look at this. The frozen Nomai shuttle. I found a Nomai shuttle almost completely encased in ice. There were three Nomai aboard the shuttle. One of them stayed behind to keep the shuttle warm while the other two explored the interloper. There's more to explore here. Okay. We can go back there at some point. The gravity cannon. The Nomai shuttle that's frozen on the interloper can be called home to the gravity canyon uh, or cannon on Ember Twin. Okay. I wonder if we do that, will it pull it from the ice? Is it strong enough to do that? I don't, mm. I don't know. Feldspar's camp. Feldspar's alive! They crashed their ship and is now camping inside a huge anglerfish skeleton. Feldspar doesn't think my scout tracker is wrong when it says my scout is in two places at once. They have a theory that space doesn't work the same inside Dark Bramble. Feldspar doesn't sound overly eager to return to civilization. They've been enjoying the relative peace and quiet. Frozen jellyfish. Feldspar documented their attempts to eat this enormous jellyfish frozen in the ice. The outside was all rubbery and tough, possibly because it insulates the jellyfish's insides from getting zapped by electricity. Feldspar decided to venture into the jellyfish's interior cavity to see if it tasted any better on the inside. After tasting the inside of the jellyfish, Feldspar concluded that these jellyfish are only useful for insulation from electricity. Why are you saying oh shit in the chat, Kendall? Huh. <laughs> Why is what what was the revelation to you? <laughs> Did we just go camp up inside a jellyfish? The shuttle on the interloper. Yeah, I wonder what else there is to explore on the interloper that we missed. I felt rushed there because I still thought we were gonna try to go to Dark Bramble, but we can go back with the intention of looking around a bit more although honestly <laughs> yeah i'm not gonna try and work my way out of here at the moment i kind of want to i don't know who we need to talk to on timber hearth Spe about the seed well there's a guy standing there is that what you were gonna say i'm sorry uh no but we should do that but I, we need to tell somebody, or probably multiple people, that like we found Feldspar. <laughs> He's they're alive, and oh. we know where they are. Yeah. I just don't. The bramble. Yeah. The day starts over every single day, so. Right. Um. Hornfell, maybe. 
This is Slate, right? Yes. Was wh where was Hornfell? Was he I the one don't in the museum? Remember who that is? I think they were in the museum. Oh, I don't have my Your suit on. I want my suit. <laughs> I'm so used to just being able to like zoop up wherever I want to go. That's true. I could have just grabbed it from the ship, honestly. We'll just take a little tour of cute little tumble hearth. feels good how non-hostile this place is yeah to just be able to like walk around mm -hmm. and chill feels pretty sweet statue opened its eyes bet you wish you'd seen that happen huh me too i found feldsbar and they're in dark bramble stars above this is wonderful news thank you thank you for finding them that Feldspar didn't immediately join you on your ship and return here is incredibly Feldspar of them. We were never entirely sure what Feldspar was thinking back then either. Mm. Still, we ought to fish them out of that dreadful place. Ha 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 ha. With all haste, I'll, raise, I'll radio Gossen and have them prepare a ship. It really should be Gossen who brings Feldspar home. Well, um, I should warn you. <laughs> Again, thank you. You can hardly imagine how profoundly happy I am to hear they're alive and unharmed. Was there something you needed? Uh, no. Please do be careful when retrieving them. I mean, they're gonna die at the end of the day anyway. Uh, yeah, it's, it just starts all over. Hello. Heyo, hatchling. Thought you were taking that tin can of yours into space today. Oh, if only you knew. Uh. Huh. Why can't. Hmm. Is that a dark bramble seed? You think so? It's something I've ever seen on Timber Hearth before, so you're probably onto something there. Whatever it is, it put down roots in a hurry. I feel like we've had this conversation. Yeah. yeah. Right, yeah. Mm. All right, well. Hmm. Okay, then.
There's that thing. We could do that. Sure. here. Maybe I should land on this side and try and walk around. Hmm. Just doesn't seem like there's anything here, but... sliding yeah <laughs> that's mm. fun like just enough gravity to keep me on the surface and that's it okay there's the shuttle it's also making a very satisfying noise scooting along Whatever is here to find, we can't... Maybe once we call the shuttle back... Yeah. We can okay. come back here and see what's left. Don't really know. This is very fun. I'm not, like, I'm pushing any buttons right now. I'm just <laughs> scooting along. Alright, where's the sheep? Just ahead. Okay. Yeah, I don't really see much of anything else. Alright, should we meditate or just go straight to Giant Steep? Uh. I have a feeling. We're gonna die on Giant Steep. Okay, so let's just we go, should go there. Yeah, because I mean the first, <laughs> the first route of stuff to do is to just try and shove myself inside a jellyfish. So, uh -huh, yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> it can only go well. Did we land on? Oh, oh my god. What are the odds that we landed yeah. on a fucking actual land? Alright, I'm going you. We're both moving clockwise. There she is. Okay. Do we need to find one that's not brimming with electricity? Yeah. Like you. No, you're blue. So, remember we saw one, like, coming out like this? Yeah. Can we, we like... We can't. We What is your plan? <laughs> remember we saw jellyfish, like, 
coming out of the... Yeah. Can we, like, follow one in? Can you get on its top? No. Uh. Dang. Um... Is there a way to kill it? I do not... do not know. So that one's just coming out. I think I touched the planet. Okay. What happens if I touch you? Okay, yeah, I get zapped. Maybe from the very bottom. I mean, it definitely is like brimming with electricity. But maybe it's just the outer bits. Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. How the fuck? Excuse us? <laughs> um, Is it gonna go back in though? They all do, eventually. <laughs> I cannot believe that worked. <laughs> I can't believe you just went up this jellyfish's asshole <laughs> and it's going to take us into the center of this planet. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I can't believe that we're just like sitting in here like anytime you want to go back through that's great with us. I feel like we're... Yeah, it feels like it's happening. Like... Okay. Do we exit I... the jellyfish? I'm gonna try and exit the jellyfish. Oh my god. Whoa. Oh my god. Oh, I hate it. I'm actually... Wow, this immediately made me like claustrophobic. Let me in. Holy shit. Holy shit. Wow. 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 Uh... Wait, 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 wait. What the fuck is happening? Oh, it's on the other side. Look at that. Displaying coordinates for the eye of the universe. Retrieving stored coordinates from Ash Twin. I yeah, I think I accidentally moved this, so let's Oh god. No, no, no. Why did the. What? Why did that happen? Did I just accidentally walk on the thing? I must have accidentally just you walked did, on it. You did, yeah. So. That one doesn't have any rings. Hmm. 
that's giant steep where we are, but this is the eye of the universe, I think. Uh -huh. Retrieving previous launch data from Ash Twin. Total number of probes launched 9,318,000. Deep space anomaly, anomaly matching all known criteria for the eye of the universe found by probe 9318054. Receiving data from probe, visualizing current trajectory of probe. Okay, interesting. What, uh, what can we see up here? Hello? Launch module projection stone. We've been in the launch module. Should look like this room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's like extra fucked. It'd be a real nice attention to detail if that big number goes up by one every time. <laughs> yeah. Like every loop that we go through. I think it might. Oh my gosh, that's cool. Yeah, okay. I think we've read that. The probe tracking module will be the first to know the coordinates of the eye of the universe. You'll be the first to see them. I am honored and terrified. You won't ask the orbital probe cannon to use so much power that it breaks, will you? Fret not, my nervous friend. We only need to fire the probe once anyway, so who minds if it compromises the orbital probe cannon's structural integrity slightly? I would mind, Mallow. I would mind, because we won't be capable of receiving our probe's data if our probe tracking module is destroyed. <laughs> Fair. Ash Twin? I think we've looked... Yeah. So there's there's three masks that are lit up. So one of them is us. One of them is Gabro on Giant Steep. And then there's one more being or something that is looping. Yeah. I don't know who it is. I have exciting news, Privet. The Ash Twin Project is almost prepared to receive the probe data from the Orbital Probe Cannon. Raimi is adding some finishing touches here, but she'll be finished soon. Are you and the Orbital pro Are you and the ob Orbital Probe Cannon well? We are. The statue here in the probe tracking module is ready to record each launch's flight trajectory and will automatically transmit all relevant data to you. Once the probe determines the location of the eye, I'll send an alert directly to you and Raimi. On the other appendage, I... <laughs> I like that. I am now worried about this cannon's structural integrity and its crew's moral integrity. Oh. Yikes. Huh. Oh god. Can I? Oh god. Oh god, please. <laughs> Why is this so hard? There we go. Was there anything else down here in the abyss with us that we need to look at? I can't believe we got here by going up the ice of a jellyfish. You you literally just sucked your way up that jellyfish. <laughs> like, <laughs> I mean, why not? We're on a time loop. It's the time to get real fucky with your ideas. 
And it worked. And it worked, so. Okay, well. Do we have to go back up the ass of a jellyfish to get I out? I mean, we're probably... Or do we just meditate? I think we just meditate. I, I don't know that there's much more... I just kind of want to, like, bop around down here a little bit to see if there was anything else, but I doubt that there is. But you just never know. Um, yeah, I say let's meditate and then go read about what the hell <laughs> we just found out. I feel like we've had such big revelations in this hour and 15 minutes. I know. <laughs> I was talking, Kendall and I were talking about this game and how it is like, it is open world. So your very first ship launch, there's nothing really stopping you from flying to Giant Steep, going down a tornado, going up the butt of a jellyfish and finding all of that. <laughs> but it's like, you would never do any of that because it's all scary and new. And like, you would have to notice like specific little details yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's like it's really cleverly done how it's open world, but it it definitely eventually it points you in the right direction. Exactly. So a friend of mine flew their ship way out, turned around, and then flew straight to Giant's Deep. They went so fast that they managed to fly the ship straight to the center of the <laughs> What? <laughs> If they had, if they had been like, hmm, I wonder if I can go up the butt of that jellyfish. Absolutely nothing stopping them from doing that. But I like how cleverly the game's designed to like. There's not really roadblocks in your way from doing that stuff early on, but you just. But that's really funny that he just launched himself so hard into the planet. <laughs> that's amazing. Wow. No planning for a reckless bucket. <laughs> There's always going to be that one outlier person who just like falls ass backwards into the solution. Okay. The orbital probe cannon has launched millions of probes. The 9,318,054th probe located a deep space anomaly matching all known criteria for the eye of the universe. The statue in the probe tracking module automatically records each probe's trajectory and transmits the data to the Ash Twin project. I found no my coordinates marking the location of the eye of the universe. Okay, so... The ocean is surprisingly calm beneath the current, some sort of electrical field. I passed through the electrical barrier and reached the coral forest at the planet's core. Uh, I think we go to Ash Twin. Yeah, that seems like the move. Uh, is one right there? Yes, it is. Ooh, good. Go, go. No, 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 no. Pretty floored that they actually seem to find it, TBH. Yeah, I... I guess this whole time I was kind of under the assumption that they weren't ever gonna have found it and that they were... Like, we were gonna have to figure out how to just save them from their own curiosity about it. Or something like that? I don't know. I mean, I think they're extinct. I, I guess I don't know. I'm not 100% convinced of that, but I can't tell you why. I don't know why I feel like... There's just dead of dead of them everywhere. I don't... Skeleton. I don't know why. I, I just feel like... Okay, this one takes us up. The fuck is that? Hmm. No, I think 
the only, what makes me think that there's at least one of them still alive is that there's three masks and three beings are looping. And I don't know why, I just have this gut feeling that the other one is a Nomai. Yeah. Who's that? It's just, it's like the tops of buildings or something. This place isn't that big, I'm just gonna kind of wander around. Or at least it didn't seem that big. There's something on this other pole. Hit us with your theories. I, I just don't know. Mm. I'm s I... I think that Omai were seeking the eye of the universe and in the process of doing that, they doomed themselves as a civilization somehow, but I don't know necessarily what I, what happened or, hello. Or maybe, Ish, they found a better place to build a civilization and they all just yeeted out of this universe or this solar system or whatever what is happening this yeah there's like the ash was like draining oh with the sun how do I get in there hmm do Uh, get, I say get in there. Go see what that is. I mean, it's just the it's the other planet. I'm just not oh. ready to have explore it yet. What other? Oh, it's okay. the other. It's the other twin. These are the hourglass twins. Oh, because they're twins. Right. And we're on right. the ash twin, and that's ember ember twin. That's... I think is what it's called. Mm. Ooh ooh ooh! Wait 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 wait! Can we not? It's going down, it's going down. Oh, shit. Wait, 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 Is this what? room actually stretching? <laughs> <laughs> there are no windows and no doors. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no. Did... Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. I don't like it in here. It's pokey. It's pokey in there. <laughs> You gotta go back in the I, hole. I am. I just didn't know where they, where else they were gonna pop up, cause that whole room is just cactus. Okay, some time has passed since I checked in with you, Pi. How are you? An idea progressing with the Sun Station plans. Sun Station. Presently, my assessment is that our plan will either fail explosively or succeed explosively. Well, I mean. If you're making a sun station, sure. Pi, you know I don't find that funny. How curious. Raimi thinks I'm a gas, and I don't recall requesting that you monitor this conversation, Idea. I don't see what state of matter you are has to, I don't see what state of matter you are has to do with this, and I don't recall supporting the sun station's construction, but here we are. Boy, Idea just sounds like a blast. Um Hypothesis. Time when spent away from the station would be beneficial to you both. I'm immensely interested in testing your hypothesis, Yero. That, at least, we can agree on. So, I want to get in there. But it's pokey. Do I have to go around through the terrible, terrible pokey place? Uh, 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 I think I, I think we do. Uh, how do you oh 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 keep just keep going just keep swimming just keep swimming just keep swimming oh oh you're about <laughs> to run out of oxygen anyway yeah it oh. uh oh because you punk because the suit yeah hmm so we'll have to time it 
where we get to that passageway where the sand is like emptying and I can like run through there before the sand empties out. Okay, yeah. Because I, I was able to walk in there at first. And I think if I just made a run for it at that point. Go look directly at the sun for a bit. really a station? Uh. <clears throat> there is uh, something orbiting it. I mean, there's lots of things orbiting it, but there's something closely <laughs> orbiting it. <laughs> that! That, that, that! That. What is that? We have yet to... to fly into the sun. No, maybe we did once, actually. Because we just wanted to see what would happen. Did we? I don't remember if we did that or not, honestly. I can't lock onto that, and that makes me upset. Because then I can't, like, match velocity with it. But now I want to try and land on it. You never know if you don't go. You never shine if you don't glow. <laughs> okay. No! No, 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 Today's no, no, no. the day! <laughs> Today's the day! <laughs> Salute! Oh, gosh. Okay. That's going to be harder to do than I anticipated. <laughs> All right, all right. We're just going to go back to Ashtwin. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. Um, I will look into that further at a different time if it... Like, I feel like there's going to be stuff there that we want to know about, but... Yeah. For the sake of following a thread. I want to go back to Ash Twin. Which is... There. Yeah, just like everything else that's always been there. You know, I think I have, like, seen that before, but it, to me, it looks so much like the Orbital Probe Cannon, like, fragments that I got, I thought it was just Orbital Probe Cannon fragments kind of floating around. And I was, didn't think that there was much more to be found. Alright, where is that building? Hello? Was it buried under the sand entirely at one point? Um... I don't know.
don't even know what direction we went. <clears throat> oh, there's something. Stuff do be emerging. How is that? I wonder if it happens multiple times a day. Fun. I know, you get like a little speed boost happening. Okay, what the heck? Uh-oh. Is this it? This is not the same shape. Is this though? Certainly. Ruins of some kind. It's almost like tidal flow. Yeah. <clears throat> oh. Prickles. Oh god. Please, let me in! <laughs> no! No, I don't want this! God damn it. You just you getting sucked up. Well, now we're on this planet. <laughs> well, now we're here. This is not what I wanted. Damn it. There's trees down there. Oh, <laughs> you did it. <laughs> I mean, what else are we gonna do right now? Let me down. Okay. <laughs> Fill your air supply tank and return quickly. Uh oh. <laughs> what? That doesn't feel good. What's this way? We have found an enormous cavern at the end of this passage that appears promising. I believe we could construct long-term shelter there. The cavern Melloray found is a wise choice for shelter. Could one of you mark directions for the others to follow? This is the start of the path to the shelter site. I've left directions to guide you there. Of note, we must hurry as a the pathway there is filling with sand. Do not allow yourself to be buried by sand and make sure no one is lost. Oh, jeez. Okay. Emergency escape hatch. Keep moving, friends. There is nothing of interest at the end of this passage but rocks. And while these rocks are interesting, they can wait until a less urgent time. Do not follow this tunnel to its end. 
Coleus and I will examine the horror that lies at its terminus later, provided we live through this. Of note, this passage leads to breathable air. Refill your supply tank there. We cannot tell how far the, or deep these tunnels may wind, but do not linger as this area is exposed to the heat of the alien sun. Wait, so which... Mm, there's no way to go then? It didn't... Yeah, they said don't follow any of these. You can go up there. Unless they want... path to the central site is somewhat convoluted so follow the instructions ahead closely oh god okay to reach the shelter site walk forward until you meet the sandfall at the pit then turn oh, left no continue no. to the room filled with rock column formations and climb up through the opening above them sandfall Can at the pit sure that? <laughs> turn left yeah let's sandfall at the pit turn left Continue mm. to the room filled with rock column formations and then climb through the opening above. The sand here is rising, so you must be cautious but swift. Left. Okay, go through this hole. Okay. Be cautious crossing the chasm ahead. The bridge Melari and I crafted will do its job, but it isn't strong. Once on the far side, look for the tunnel hidden behind the falling falling sand. Follow it and you'll reach the shelter site. Fuck! Oh my god. Holy shit! Ooh, ooh. I could not get out of it. It's like, once you're stuck in it, you're stuck in it. Like now, still too. Ooh. I mean, yeah. Because there's no getting out of this hole. the tunnel behind yeah, run out of fuel. the sand? Is there a tunnel behind this sand? It kind of looks like if you look... Oh, oh there yep, was. okay. There was. You're doing well. There's only a little further left to go now until you reach the shelter site. You can rest there. Hurry before the sand comes. Uh. That was helpful. Mm. What's up here? No.
It's amazing, look inside the cave. How did this come to rest here? We haven't encountered others in these caves. I think this is a rare find. From what we can see, Coleus and I believe this specimen must be very old indeed. Imagine what we might learn if we could examine it. We both agree it's unlikely this dry planet is this horror's place of origin, oh, of origin especially considering, oh. <laughs> uh, considering what we observed during the vessel's evacuation. Clearly this hole is too small for it to have fit through. Hypothesis, there is another entrance to this cave. If there is, Coleus and I will find it. We can't leave valuable information undiscovered. An update. We need to find a way inside quickly, Melloray, because when I returned here to search for an entrance to the cave, there were children playing with the specimen. Oh god. Yikes. Okay. We'll look into that once we've refilled our sh air and shit. See, there's just bodies everywhere, and... I mean, I'm with you. It's... I just can't help... Their mind... Their minds got, like... Like, their memories and stuff, you know? They got put into, like, the statues or whatever, so maybe they just left their bodies behind, but their minds still live on. Yeah, I think it's either something like that for, like, the majority of them, but I feel like there was... I don't know. I, I just have this gut feeling that there's, like, one that was somewhere protected from whatever killed all the rest of them, if that makes sense. Mm. Like, if it was, mm -hmm. like, on another planet or in another system or, like, at the eye of the universe or something. I, sh I don't know. Should we build a sun station to power the Ash Twin project? Are there other ways to generate this level of power? Theoretically, yes. Practically, no. I can't imagine discovering them in our lifetimes. I understand this proposal is unsettling, but the sun station must be built if we hope to complete the Ash Twin project. I almost can't comprehend this is, this is being suggested seriously. The purpose of the sun station goes against every standard we hold ourselves to and everything we believe in as a species. Unsurprisingly, Idea, I disagree. We're pushing a possible new technology further than ever before. That, in my experience, is the defining characteristic of our species. If we fail, and the probability of this is not insignificant, we will without question destroy ourselves, all life here, and the rest of this star system. I wish to protect these species. The potential annihilation of an entire star system is too severe a cost. We shouldn't build the sun station, no matter how badly we want the knowledge that comes with it. Fear of failure is a poor reason not to try. I believe, if we're cautious, the sun station will work. I believe in pie. Poke, I'm deeply honored. Idea, I comprehend your position. However, if we aren't all but certain the sun station will not cause destruction once we've built it, then I won't support the station's use. Ken well, I know that's a lot. Kendall said the squiggles of her path on the nav ball is funny. Yeah, we're just <laughs> doodling all over the place. Um, what is this? I shrine. Okay, like my goodness. I shrine district. Ooh. Oh, the sand is filling up. High energy lab trailhead. Um, so we gotta go. At what point does the sand stop filling up? Because it just keeps coming. Angler fish fossil oh, overlook. We need to get up there. How do we get up? Almost no fuel left. No! Uh. <laughs> Alright. Gravity cannon. 
maybe we can do the gravity cannon thing. I don't know. Oh, shit. Well... Oh. Turns out mm -hmm. it's fine. Um... But there's nowhere safe to go, and I'm so low on fuel. I mean, we might as well. Fuck it. Fuck Any it. thoughts on what ghost matter is? I haven't got a clue. Yeah, I don't know yet what I think that it is. Like, it's... Yeah, I, d I, d I don't know. Why do they call it ghost matter? Right? I don't know. Sun's looking real big. I mean, it's all covered in sand at the bottom. Right. But does it go down at some point? Maybe. I know I found out during my playthrough. Okay, so Andrew found out at some point during his, so it is something we can learn. more sand. Hmm. I kind of want to just linger here because we don't have a ton of time anyway. Yeah. To... See if this sand eventually starts going down. Sort of sounds like the music is kicking in. Which means the sun is on a countdown. <laughs> yeah, what the heck is that? Look at all the stuff I mean, on Ashwin. Yeah. This side fills and the other side empties. I wonder if there's some sort of warp you can use to get from one to the other quickly. That would be very useful. And it seems like something the Nomai would have found useful. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, this isn't gonna empty anytime soon. So, I guess let's meditate. And we'll check out Ash Twin again and see if we can, um, kind of scoot along the surface in our ship. Just kind of hover around until we start seeing stuff get uncovered. Yeah, okay. Okay, dokie. Did we learn our entries? Yeah. Ash Twin Towers. Several large Nomai towers form a ring around Ash Twins. Equator. The Nomai debated building a sun station in order to power the Ash Twin project. The Nomai built something called the sun station, but not everybody supported its construction. A Nomai city built into the walls of a huge underground cavern. 
The city is divided vertically into four districts. The Nomai debated building a sun station in order to power the Ash Twin project. Several Nomai opposed its construction, arguing that failure could result in the destruction of the solar system. Found a cave with an anglerfish fossil inside, but the opening is only big enough for my scout. The Nomai learned how to evade anglerfish, theoretically at least, by studying an anglerfish fossil they found on Ember Twin. How do they learn how to evade it just from the, the bones, I wonder? Also, wouldn't evading it just be not running into it? I guess they chase you. Right, yeah, I mean... But essentially, I mean... Yeah. Quantum Moon is here. Oops. As long as we're waiting on Ash Twin, what is this? It's one of those that we've seen these in a couple different places, haven't we? Uh, uh, I'd say there's one on like every planet. Yeah. started a sucking sand. Oh, I guess I should fix our ship. Whoops. There it is. I see it. All right, I don't remember what side the door was on. Can we see it from the top? Maybe it was over here. <laughs> Don't get caught. Oh, 
I'm very confused. Yeah, the ship's the ship's gone. Um There was a there was a door. Am I making yeah. that up? No, we definitely went in through a door. Um, I was it another building? Maybe. Is it this? No, this is something different. It was a back door of that building? Color me confused. That's what I was thinking, like maybe it was just an alternate door. This is something entirely different. Yeah. What the heck? I do not know. This place. Is there a back door? Lower down? Oh shit. There is. But I was too impatient. But what do we do? Oh, the sand, that's right. That was the... Yeah, so does the sand start coming back in? At some point? Or I don't we think so. I think it gets completely sucked out to the other planet and then and then the day ends so okay so we just need to be patient we need to find this and i came around and looked at that little sconce thing uh-huh and then... there's another sconce and then the door okay once more this will probably be my last one yeah, that's fine. We can see what's going on with this little building and then call it. Be like clooners in the hit film Gravity and navigate by jetpack. <laughs> oh gosh. I gotta admit, that movie just did not do it for me. Yeah. It was beautiful, but that was about it for me. I don't know. There was like a a little subgenre of space movies that came out, um, like Interstellar and Gravity, and I didn't really like Interstellar either. Like I think it's, I liked it all, most all the way through until Anne Hathaway has that weird change of motivation and yeah character thing at the end, and it, it sort of just felt 
weird to me and like took me out of the story. Uh, oh yeah, the music in it is amazing. The, the score is amazing. The like, I mean, like I said, I was really enjoying the movie until like we hit like about the 75% of the way through it point. And then I was like, oh, actually this is kind of ruined this movie for me. <laughs> um, I loved all the stuff where they like went on that water planet that was like close to the black hole. And then like, like I, I was really liking it uh, until I wasn't. But yes, the music holds up for sure. All right, I'm gonna back off just a little bit so we can actually like see what's happening. The Martian is still my favorite space movie of that period. The Martian is so good. Yeah, it's a good one. H um, did you read Project Hail Mary, Lauren? No. I think you would really like it. I think you would like it more than The Martian. Okay. Project Hail Mary. Yeah, it's the um, same author as The Martian. Um, so it's the same type of like humor and and writing and stuff, but the story, I think, would just capture your imagination and attention a bit more. Okay. Yeah. I really liked The Martian, so... Yeah, yeah. Kendall liked Hail Mary more than The Martian. For me, they are very, very close. I struggle to kind of decide which one I prefer. But yeah, they're both great. All right, is it you? Or are you just some rubble? I think Hail Mary also wins for me, Andrew says. Um. Yeah, it's great. There was definitely some points where I actively was like, wait, what? <laughs> In that book, the plot just went directions I did not expect. It was great. Okay, here it is. All right. Boop, 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 boop. He wrote another book as well. Uh, I think Kendall's read it. Um, starts with an A, but I can't remember. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah, Rory jumped off the bed and she landed on my glass of water and then she <laughs> it zoomed across the room and she freaked out. <laughs> what a ding dong. There's now water everywhere. That's okay. We're almost done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Rory. We've avoided getting sucked up. We're at the door at the right time. Artemis, yes, that's what it's called. Andy Ware's other book. Oh shit. You got it. Oh, go, 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 get it, get it! <laughs> I did it! I did it! You did it! Okay, I was hoping there would be trees in here. Okay. Hello? Why did we come in here? What does this do? I mean, we're in that room. Um, <laughs> to what end? What are you doing?
What is this? Oh! Uh, <laughs> oh, where are we now? I okay. I don't know what just happened. Six minutes, 44 seconds ago, increased solar activity detected. Sun station hull integrity approaching critical levels, closing emergency doors. Just six minutes ago? So like when the loop starts? Huh. Mm. So they... S hmm. 281,000 years ago, no user commands received for 10 minutes. All systems entering sleep. What the fuck? Opens emergency door. Do I want- I don't- We're gonna do that. I don't know if I want to do that, but- do it. I feel like we're on the sun station? <gasps> yeah. Oh! What? Uh, <laughs> um... Holy shit. It's- Oh god, fuck. Okay, we're Gotta going. Eat yourself off of we're, it. Going. We're, going. we're going. We're going. We're going. We're going. We're going. We're going. Uh oh. Oh no, we're, 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 we're There's. Weird. I don't have any control. <laughs> okay. It's my little jetpack just does jack shit out here in actual space. Is there anywhere to like be? What is that um, building? Uh, I will never know, will we? No, not tonight. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> There's my ship. At least we can go back to on the planet. Well. Okay. That was fun. So those thingies are like, they are like little warp gates. Interesting. Uh, What's the phrase in Paul? The movie Paul? I don't recall. I, uh, I don't recall uh, the phrase in the movie Paul. Small corrections. Yeah, no, I don't know how to do that. I just push a button and then hope that it takes me the direction I want to go. Is that not how? Is that not how space travel works? Probably a little bit. They be pushing buttons. They do be pushing buttons. Okay. Well, I kind of like leaving off on, on parts like this because then we get to... It's a lot to do when we come back. Right. We. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll, we'll have like a thing to definitely look into when we start again. Hello, Ember Twin. We back. All right, well. What the fuck is going on here? Don't know. Okay, yeah, we will uh, have to um, look into the Ash or the Hourglass Twins more next week. Not another week though, right? <laughs> we can try to fit in another session this week sometime, maybe. I don't know. I'm going to Mississippi this weekend. So. Ah, well, there you go. Yeah, we're busy this weekend as well. Um, so it would have to be another weeknight, which is not ideal. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we'll leave it there, everyone. Um, thank you for watching. Thank you for hanging out. And uh, we will see you next time. Toodaloo. Bye.